Hey, welcome to the Ultimate Kong Tutorial. Ultimate Cat Pass Tutorial. Before we start jumping into Kongs, we're gonna make sure that we understand how to transfer our weight onto our arms like this. Next, we're gonna transition this move into a ground Kong. And we're gonna do that by leaning over our hands and jumping our feet towards our hands. We can focus on tucking our knees into our chest and placing our feet down as close to our hands as we can. We don't wanna keep our hands on the floor. In fact, in order for it to be a true ground Kong, we have to push strongly through the ground and land only on our feet. In order to push effectively, we can't just do it with flat hands and straight arms. See, he's really unbothered by this. What I really wanna do is bend my arms a bit and push all the way through my fingertips like this. If you find that you're stumbling forward out of your ground Kong, it's a good sign because that means you're leaning your shoulders past your hands. However, you're gonna wanna start to get control over this by really pushing forcefully through the ground. Now that we've done some ground Kong reps, what we're gonna do is take this move to a spot on the ground that we're gonna pretend is a wall that we want to Kong. I got turf and I got rubber floor. What I'm going to try to do is put both hands on the turf and Kong so that I land onto the rubber floor. Now that you're trying to get your feet to land past your hands, you may find that your body chooses a position that's a little bit easier. So watch out for these three common Kong catastrophes. Crooked Kong, when your legs go to the side. Cash Kong, when you end up with your hands behind you like a dash vault. And Can't Kong, cause that's just a jump where you touch your hands. Now that we know how to do a ground Kong, it's time to take it onto a structure. So we're gonna try to find a platform, one like this that's relatively low. We're gonna emphasize putting both hands on the platform and doing a jumping hip lift where we jump off of both feet, lift our hips up as high as we can and make sure we're leaning over our hands. At first, you can start your jumping hip lifts with straight arms, really emphasizing jumping off of both feet and leaning forward over your hands. Then you can start to use a more bent arm push that's really gonna help you pop your hips up higher. Let's talk about your takeoff. If your goal is to jump off of both feet and aim your chest over something like this, you are essentially doing a dive. And it's easier to dive from a split step stance than it is with your feet together. Now it's time to try a Kong up. We're gonna start in a split step stance, hands on the platform, jumping hip lift, tuck your knees, lean forward and push through. Now, if this is still scary for you, here are four different ways we can help you bridge the gap. Place your hands deeper on the platform to give your feet more space. Perform a jumping hip lift Practice tucking and smear your feet against the wall. Find something soft, place it on the edge, and do a Kong up onto your knees. Do a crooked Kong up. Remember that a Kong is a dive, so you don't wanna take off too close because that will prevent you from putting enough weight on your hands and you'll do some weird stuff. Just as in our ground Kong, we don't wanna get stuck with our hands glued down to the structure. We wanna push all the way through like this. Next, we're gonna work on getting a good approach for our Kong. And in order to do that, we actually don't need a wall to Kong. We just need some open space. Once you've found your open space, you're gonna get into a split step stance. And from this stance, you're going to do a step in plyo. That means I'm gonna take a big step forward and then jump off of both feet. 
The reason we want to get a long step into our plyo is because that long step allows us to get our hips low and our weight on our back foot so that we get a good jump off of both feet. Now you're gonna take that drill and you're going to apply it to a wall so that you can figure out your spacing for a comp. Start right in front of the wall and step backwards until you're at arm's reach in your split step stance. From there, you're gonna take a giant step and then resume your split step stance. Move forward and set for your comp. Before moving on, get some reps in to figure out your spacing. As you're doing that, make sure that your hips are loaded over your back foot so that you can get a good jump. Now that we've learned how to bring momentum into a Kong, our goal is to use that momentum to try to get further. You can do this on a platform, a planter, or a wall. By this point, you may be really eager to Kong all the way over to the other side of the wall. What you can do is execute a Kong slip. To perform a Kong slip, do a Kong up, but land with your toes hanging over the far side of the wall. Lean forward and slip your feet off of the wall. This move will help prevent the dreaded crooked Kong. Once you can perform a Kong slip, there's a natural progression to not touching your feet. Key things to focus on, get your hips up, Lean straight forward, push hard, and tuck your knees in. If you still can't do a Kong, you might need more speed. And in order to get more speed, we need to understand the step before our takeoff, which we like to call our three-step approach. We can figure out our spacing for our three-step approach the exact same way we figured out our spacing in our last approach drill. Starting from here, take a giant step backwards, another regular step, and from here, I can just retrace those steps and do a Kong. As you start to build more speed into your Kong, there are two more common Kongtastrophes that you may run into. Number one, what was number one? Number one, the zombie. Remember that you actually need to get your arms back behind you to load up into your jump. Number two, the ballet dancer. When you're coming in too tall. <laughs> it's actually like almost impossible. <laughs> Remember that you need to be down low with your eyes at the same level as the wall that you're trying to calm. In this video, we gave you the building blocks for a great calm. You can start low and build up slowly, starting from that ground Kong into a grab. Starting at that ground Kong, you can lead that into a Kong up, learn the approach, and then eventually Kong all the way over. A Kong is a dive. Get low and give yourself some space between you and the wall that you're trying to Kong. A Kong isn't just a jump with your legs, it's a jump with your arms. Get your chest over the wall and push hard. Momentum is key. Use that split step takeoff and gradually add speed behind it so that you can maximize your distance. Thanks for tuning in. We hope that this video either helped you learn a Kong or improved your Kong. If it did, you can subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, welcome to the Ultimate Kong Tutorial. Ultimate Cop Pass Tutorial. <laughs>